Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. It's an exciting day. <laughs> We've all been waiting for Iclone 8 and uh, Character Creator 4, and they're finally here. Today is a day. And actually, it came out, I think it was very early this morning. And uh, it's a lot of work that has gone into you know, updating this uh, platform. And I have been a I mean, I've used, I come from the motion builder and, and, and 3ds Max and Maya animation background, but more and more each day, I'm finding myself animating more in Icron than any other platform. And mainly because of the motion capture, you know, that they've added, it's amazing what they've done, you know, to update the character creator models, uh, to be able to handle different kinds of animations, like uh, motion correction, cap editing, lip sync, uh, motion direction this is really really powerful there are very few other programs that can do this you know really well like i mean 3ds max has this uh like crowd system but there's something that they've done with the uh, icon that is really really different and i think it's more applicable to what we're using right now in terms of uh, when you have motion capture and you can combine that the quality of the animation is great features like a uh, device line you know, perform, you know, motion. this is like, I think virtual production, they're paying attention to virtual production and how all this is coming together. And I use uh, the Perception Neuron a lot together with my iPhone 10 to do the facial animation. So I find Icon to be uh, like a platform that can handle all these things. They have like volumetric shadows have been added that are soft and nice, camera systems, props. You know, there's a lot here to unpack. And over the days, I mean, I'll be able to share more tutorials on how, you know, some of these things are applicable to the kind of work that we do, especially as indie filmmakers, right? And then with our character creator. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, 3D exchange is gone. You were saying bye-bye for now. So if you're still using iClone 7, you still can use 3D Exchange, but once you transition to Character Creator 4, then you no longer need to use uh, 3D Exchange because now you can bring in custom characters. You know, when you do the import, there's a humanoid option, and then there's a, you can bring in Character Creator, character creator models or avatars. You are, you're able to animate all manner of things that we weren't able to do before in Character Creator. So I think this is going to be really, really well suited for indie filmmakers, especially if you have like a cartoon character that you want to animate. Before it was kind of, uh, you had to go through 3D Exchange and then make it all the way to iClone to be able to do this. And you can still do that. But with Character Creator 4, they've changed that where you can come in directly, bring in your character into Character Creator 4 so that then you can prepare it to send to iClone 8. And there's going to be, I, I can't wait to see the new characters people come up with. It's exciting. <laughs> it really is exciting. And then above all, I think it's the updated characters. You know, we have been using meta humans. Well, they've done something really good for this, the new CC4 avatars. And it's going to, I think it's going to tra transform the industry. And we'll see more and more, I think, short films coming out of uh, Car uh, Character Creator 4 and iClone. The reason I'm sharing both these two systems together is because they work together. Once you create a character in CC4, then you'll be able to send it to CC, uh, rather to iClone 8 to be able to animate there. Now, I'll show you what the interface looks like, for example, in Character Creator 4. They have some projects that come with, it comes with that you can start out with. For example, this character here, you can see it's a custom character that has been rigged to work in, in uh, iClone as well as uh, CC4. And it, it looks awesome. Like being able to do this, you know, to take your custom character and be able to animate them, you know, is, is amazing. To be able to add like spring dynamics this is really really good you know and also they have like some avatars in here a female avatar and a male avatar that you can try out so they are they have trial versions right now that you can try if before you buy i always try before you buy i think it's a good thing to try so that you are, you don't feel like you've thrown your money away and I'm, a, you know there are gonna be i think some promotions going on during this period of uh, the launch so take advantage of it. And it's still the same way, you know, the process is you can send the character. So if I, for example, let me pause here. When I select this character, I can 
export it as an avatar, right? And say same process. This uh, this hasn't changed. And then once you get to iClone, then you can load it from the same place again. Now, what is also different is uh, you notice that this is similar to what CC3 uh, used to have, right? So they've uh, they, they've kind of uh, unified the interface so that it's similar to CC4 and iClone. And that's the introduction of the smart gallery, which it changes the way we do work. But I like that they've uh, uh, now organized it according to the way CC4, CC3 used to look. Now CC4 looks like as well as when compared to iClone, it's the same. And when it comes to face animation, uh, there is a new interface that you can actually see here and you can see you can still puppet a character. All these things can be turned on. Now there is even like middle eyebrow. Those things weren't there before, you know, so you can see the eyebrows going up like that. Inner, outer, inner and <laughs> middle. You have the tongue control over here. You have the expressions, you know, and then you have the being able to modify it's like way more options that they've added now, you know, and you even can have custom modifications like he's hungry, you know. These are all like useful tools when you're doing like animations for your characters, especially for custom characters, but it also works for when you bring in a CC4 character. This is really, really, really powerful. And then this, I, I have to do some uh, more in-depth tutorials to show you guys what has been added, but overall it's, amazing it's i mean like they've done an awesome awesome job of being able to tell uh providing a tool that we can use to tell our stories right so you still have to get i think uh new plugins when you go in like your go to your your religion hub that's where you're going to find the update if you want to update it so if you've already purchased uh icon 7 you should be able to see like if because they had like a promotion to upgrade this like if you bought a package at some point, they will give you uh, CC4 and iClone 8. So you'll find them here, right? And like just like in uh, iClone 7, whenever you buy the plugin, it will show up underneath here as well, just like you see Motion Live. So Motion Live looks like it comes already part of this, but you have to add on the other plugins that come with it, just like you see down here. So I haven't installed mine yet but you, they will show up here once you have them installed. And that's how you update it. You'll make sure you have a, you updated your religion hub and uh, be able to download the version. So you can also try it out and see if you like it or not. So guys, again, today was just uh, an exciting day to see that Icon 8 has finally, finally shown up the, <laughs> the animation tools that they've added uh, to die for, you know, like especially motion correction. This is going to be so helpful when it comes to when you're editing motion capture data, especially like from if you're using perception neuron, Rococo, or even Xsense, if you want to do some more modification. The rich target has been greatly, greatly improved. And they've actually provided some tutorials on their YouTube channel. So check out the Relusion channel for now. I'll continue to do as I use this. I'll be able to do some more practical application, you know, like from an indie filmmaker point of view, and when you're trying to create your own film, I'll be able to do that. But this is amazing. Check it out. I highly, highly recommend it. And as always, I'll continue to make tutorials to showcase what is new inside of these amazing, amazing programs. Uh, this is an amazing day for animators all over the world. And so, guys, again, as always, dare to dream big. You know, these, uh, the industry is changing. Tools are becoming more available that can support us. So let's take advantage of these tools to tell our stories, okay? As always, I'm praying for you. Please stay safe. Much love to everyone. Uh, bye for now. What a day.